Hello dear learners, I am Gautam, faculty for geography, IAS, KS, plastic uh, study circle, Dharwada. See, uh, today we are starting a new series of Indian river systems. The Indian river systems are also called as Indian drainage system and we will try to cover all the river systems of India in this particular series and uh, we will be covering one river each day and uh, we will be having this particular series for around 6 to 7 days. Okay. In that sense, I want to first of all introduce you all the rivers that are there in India. I want to draw a map of India in the beginning. Okay, let us say, see. Okay, uh, this is our uh, India map and uh, on this I try to represent all the river systems that are there. The major ones I want to mention, okay, from here uh, we are getting a river called as uh, Indus River which flows in Pakistan after uh, ending itself in uh, India and uh, drains itself into Arabian Sea like this. After that, we have a river here which flows eastwards in the beginning in Tibet after that enters India at Arunachal Pradesh and then uh, moves towards southern side and then enters Bangladesh, then drains itself into Bay of Bengal by making a delta called as Sundarban Delta. After that, there is one more river uh, here, can you concentrate here? From here, there is a river and uh, the most important river that we are having is called as our national river, Ganga River. Okay, this is how it is. After that, uh, with reference to Ganga, the most and uh, the most important tributary if I talk about for Ganga river, that particular river is called as Yamuna river and there are around 5 important tributaries for Indus river that we have and they are Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Bias and Satlaj and they are continuously joining each other to join uh, Indus river and these uh, tributaries we are also calling them as left bank tributaries as they are joining the major river, major flow from the left side. Okay. After that, now pay attention, after this what do we have is, see uh, there is a very good plateau or a peak here called as Amarkantak peak. From this particular peak, we see three important rivers, one is Narmada, after that Son, after that Mahanadi and if I concentrate this, See, there is a river here from the Malwa Plateau, northern slope of Malwa Plateau, near a district called as Moha in Madhya Pradesh. It will raise here and uh, it will try to flow towards Yamuna and joins Yamuna at uh, nearly uh, uh, Agra, south of Agra, it uh, reaches Yamuna like this. After that, can you understand here, see, what do we have? We have Subarna Reka here, uh, Brahmani. Baitani and Mahanadi. After that, we have a river called as Godavari River like this. After that, one more river in parallel to Godavari is called as Krishna River. Krishna River has got two important major tributaries and they are, one is Bhima River and the other one is called as Tungabhadra River. After that, if you concentrate on the southern side in Andhra Pradesh as well as Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, we have got Penna River here and Pala River here. After that, if you concentrate on this, we have a very important river of Karnataka called as Kaveri and uh, it flows like this from here, then to Tamil Nadu, then to Pondicherry. Then there is a river called as Vaigai and uh, these are the most important rivers that we have in India. If you concentrate on this, uh, from Aravalis, there is a river which is flowing continuously in desert and then ends itself in run of Kutch wetland. After that, if you concentrate on Narmada, in parallel to Narmada, there is a sister of Narmada called as Tapi that we need to understand. These are the most important rivers that we have in India. If we concentrate on this, I can classify the Indian drainage system into two. See classification I am telling you, Indian drainage system. It can be classified into two on the basis of where they are present, on the basis of their location. Can I say 
uh, first classification would be my Himalayan rivers, Himalayan rivers. The other can be my peninsular rivers. I hope you understand what is Himalayan rivers and peninsular rivers. See, whatever part that we have from this particular side, see, uh, this side of the rivers, we are calling these rivers as peninsular rivers and the rivers that are there after this particular line, we are calling them as Penin, uh, Himalayan rivers and these are our peninsular rivers. I hope you understand the uh, meaning of the keyword called as peninsula. Peninsula is nothing but the landmass which is covered by three side water. Okay, after that, this is the classification that we do when we try to study about Indian drainage system. Can be classified into two, one is Himalayan rivers and the other one is called as peninsular rivers. If I talk about the examples of Himalayan rivers, can I say Himalayan rivers, uh, we have got Indus river, Ganga river and Brahmaputra river. These are the three most important Himalayan rivers. After that, there are so many thousands of tributaries for them and uh, we must concentrate on these three majorly for our examination point of view. After that, if you concentrate on peninsular rivers, there are so many rivers here like uh, Krishna river, Godavari river, Subarnarika, Brahmani, Baitani, Vaigai, Kaveri, Pennar, Palar, etc, etc add whatever you want to. The rivers which are there in peninsula can be written in here. So, this is how we can classify the river systems of India into two, Himalayan rivers and peninsula rivers. I hope you understand. See, on daily basis I told you there is a series of river systems. Uh, today, today I would like to discuss about this particular river or national river called as Ganga river. So, we will start with the Ganga river. And uh, we will try to know what are the major features of Ganga river and what are the tributaries of Ganga river and what are the uh, features of Ganga river in a nutshell. We will try to discuss about that. Okay, uh, You can uh, see this particular map of uh, Ganga drainage basin clearly, it is here. Okay, If you concentrate on this, uh, we need to understand certain parts when we concentrate on particular river systems. First of all, I want you to tell me, see. In the examination, if they are asking any question about river systems, they would definitely ask you about something called as where does the river gets origined that we need to understand. See, the first and foremost point that we need to understand under river system is called as origin or source point, origin or source point, okay. Can you concentrate on this? I have written origin. See, after that, if you concentrate. See, they may ask you about uh, what are the important dams that we have on the river. Important, I hope you understand what it is. See, important dams, I have written important dams. What else they are going to ask you? They may ask you about uh, the names of the left bank tributaries as well as right bank tributaries. I hope you understand this. See, we have got left bank tributaries and right bank tributaries. I want you to concentrate on this particular map. We have got so many tributaries here. Uh, this is the Ganga river that we have in dark blue color. After that, in light blue color, uh, they have mentioned something called as tributaries of Ganga. Uh, with the help of chocolate color, they have written the name of those tributaries. I hope you understand this. See, we need to know something called as left bank tributaries and right bank tributaries like this. After that. If you concentrate on this particular map, we need to know something called as, pay attention, uh, information about, information about important tributaries as well as we need to know where does, where does this particular river flows, in what all states is it flowing, in which particular state is it flowing more, that we need to understand. If I concentrate on Ganga, can I say it is flowing in uh, Uttarakhand first of all. After that, it enters uh, UP, UP, Uttar Pradesh. After that, it enters what? It enters uh, Bihar and then it enters something called as West Bengal. See, the Ganga major river flows through four important states. They are Uttarakhand, UP, Bihar and the fourth state is called as West Bengal. You need to understand that. This is what we need to understand. This is how we need to analyze the uh, map of this particular river. Okay, now pay attention. I would try to write the states that it flows. Okay, These are the major points that I would make under something called as Ganga river system. 
ओके इन दैट सेंस आई वांट टू मेंशन ऑल दीज थिंग्स नाउ ओके पे अटेंशन सी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई एम गोइंग टू राइट इज अबाउट पे अटेंशन ओरिजिन ऑफ गंगा रिवर ओरिजिन इफ आई कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन ओरिजिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू मैंशन द लेंथ ऑफ द रिवर द लेंथ ऑफ द रिवर इज वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर इट इज जस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इट इज सी ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर इज द लेंथ ऑफ द गंगा रिवर फ्रॉम इट्स सोर्स पॉइंट टू इट्स माउथ आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज माउथ वॉट इज सोर्स सोर्स इज नथिंग बट सोर्स इज दैट रीजन वेर इट ओरिजिनेट्स एंड माउथ इज दैट रीजन वेर इट ड्रेन्स इट सेल्फ इन टू आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सी इफ यू इफ यू टॉक टू मी अबाउट ओरिजिन एंड माउथ आई वुड राइट माउथ इज नथिंग बट बे ऑफ बेंगाल इट इज ड्रेनिंग इट सेल्फ इन टू बे ऑफ बेंगाल इन टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूटरीज कैन यू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दिस सी आफ्टर गंगा क्रॉसेस फरक्का बैरेज इन वेस्ट बेंगाल इट इज क्रिएटिंग टू स्ट्रीम्स वन इज हुगली एंड द अदर वन इज पदमा आई वॉन्ट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दम ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी यू गॉट ओरिजिन आई वॉन्ट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड ओरिजिन ओरिजिन इज सेट टू बी it is being originated from it is being coming from it is coming from two important source source they are this particular source is called stream is called as bhagirathi i hope you understand this is bhagirathi and the other important source, uh, stream that we are calling it as alaknanda alaknanda concentrate on this see we have got two important streams they are bhagirathi and alaknanda this particular bhagirathi river is coming from is originating from a glacier called as gangotri glacier i hope you understand this particular part see it is originating from gangotri glacier which is present in uttar kashi district of uttarakhand uttar kashi district gomak or and uh, it is present in uttarakhand you need to understand this particular point see whenever they ask you about the origin we need to understand origin is formed by two important streams one is bhagirathi the other one is called as alaknanda i'll let you know what what they are first of all i'll i want you to understand the origin point of bhagirathi in the beginning because we need to understand alaknanda separately with the help of panch prayags okay now pay attention if you talk to me about bhagirathi if you talk about bhagirathi uh, can i say bhagirathi is originating from gangotri gangotri glacier which is present in gomuk place uttar kashi district uttarakhand is the state this we need to remember see whatever uh, uh, matters that i am giving i'll uh, give this particular matter with the help of pdf which is there in the description below okay i'm just trying to write this one if you are making running notes please make them down uh, uh, note them down see we have got gangotri glacier uttarakhand glacier is melting it is creating a stream called as bhagirathi that particular stream is joined by alaknanda and this particular alaknanda is created because of panch prayags that we need to understand separately if we try to understand about this particular thing i want you to know i want you to know how does this particular alaknanda looks like okay pay attention i am concentrating on something called as panch prayags pay attention i am writing panch prayag okay see i told you ganga river is originating with the help of two important streams one is bhagirathi and the other one is alaknanda okay if you concentrate on alaknanda alaknanda would uh, originate in this manner pay attention there is a stream originating from a place called as badrinath if you concentrate carefully there is a place called as badrinath from there a stream is originating and the stream's name is called as vishnu ganga and that particular vishnu ganga is joined by a uh, another important stream called as dhauli ganga if you concentrate on that vishnu ganga and dhauli ganga they are confluencing or they are integrating at a certain place and that particular place we are naming it as vishnu prayag vishnu ganga vishnu prayag this how you need to remember see there is a stream called as vishnu ganga along with that there is a stream called as dhauli ganga they are integrating they are confluencing at a place called as vishnu prayag soon after that after integration of vishnu ganga and dhauli ganga the river is known to be alaknanda i hope you understand this one 
Alaknanda got originated here at uh, Vishnu Prayag. If you concentrate on Alaknanda, Alaknanda is being joined by a stream called as Nandakini at uh, Nanda Prayag and Pindar Ganga at Karna Prayag. I hope you understand. After that, Alaknanda is being joined by Mandakini River, which is coming from Kedarnath at something called as Rudra Prayag. I hope you understand. This is the Prayag I was talking about. See, Pancha Prayag is nothing but Vishnu Prayag is the first Prayag. Nanda Prayag is second Prayag. Karna Prayag is third Prayag. And Rudra Prayag is fourth Prayag. And the fifth important Prayag that we need to understand is Deva Prayag. At this particular place, the Alaknanda is being joined by Bhagirathi. I told you there are two streams, Alaknanda and Bhagirathi. They join at a place called as Deva Prayag. From Deva Prayag, a river gets originated and that particular river, we are calling it as Ganga River. Until then, we did not call those streams as Ganga River. Rather, they are known to be known by different names like Vishnu Ganga, Dhauli Ganga, Nandakini, Pindar Ganga, Mandakini, Bhagirathi, Alaknanda. I hope you understand. These many synonyms are there for Ganga before it originates from Deva Prayag. I hope you understand this part. See, Gangotri River, if you concentrate on, see, uh, not Gangotri, Bhagirathi River, if you concentrate on, this particular Bhagir Bhagirathi River is originating from a glacier called as Gangotri. Gomuk, I told you, Gomuk, Uttarkasi district in Uttarakhand state. I need you, to, I want you to understand this particular part. This is how we need to understand the source or the origin point of Ganga River. And we have Panchaprayaks as well as Gangotri. I hope you understand this particular point. Once again, if I want to repeat this particular thing, the Ganga River originates like this from two important streams. They are, one is Bhagirathi, the other one is called as Alaknanda. And Bhagirathi originates from Gangotri Glacier and Alaknanda originates from series of river confluences and they are Vishnu Ganga, Dhauli Ganga, Nandakini, Pindar Ganga, Mandakini. All these things are confluencing at uh, Rudrapayag if you ask me, uh, if you concentrate on this. See, all of them are confluencing at Rudrapayag. After that, after that, it is called as Alaknanda. Can you concentrate on this? The major river is called as Alaknanda. The Alaknanda is being joined by so many other important streams. Okay, this is how we need to understand the origin or source point of Ganga River. Okay, if you concentrate on the tributaries now, okay, pay attention. I hope you understood what is origin. Okay, I want you to write this down. Okay, this is, okay, I am making it like this. Uh, now, I want to write origin as Gangotri Glacier and Alaknanda River. Alaknanda. Okay. See, so I got Gangotri Glacier and Alaknanda in Uttarakhand. If you talk to me about mouth, mouth of the river, it is at Bay of Bengal. Okay. After this, after this, if you concentrate on the length of the river, it is 2525 kilometers, I told you. We got three important terms by now. Okay. If you concentrate on this one, see, can you concentrate on this? See, I forgot to mention something here. Can you concentrate on a river called as Bhagirathi? Gangotri Glacier is present. Bhagirathi River. On this particular Bhagirathi River, we are getting a very important dam called as Tehri Dam. Tehri. I am mentioning it here itself. See, we have got an important dam called as Tehri Dam. We need to understand that. Bhagirathi uh, River we have. On that particular river, we have constructed a dam called as Tehri Dam. And this particular Tehri Dam would certainly be in which particular state if you concentrate on, if you think about, okay, this would be certainly be in Uttarakhand. You need to understand that. Uttarakhand. Just because this is Gangotri and Alaknanda, they are confluencing at Deva Prayag. Deva Prayag is in Uttarakhand. After that, it is called as Ganga. I hope you understand this particular point. Okay, after this, after this, uh, concentrate on this. Okay. Okay. See, pay attention. We have got Ganga River. Ganga River. If I want to know the tributaries, I want to check the length of the tributaries. 
concentrate on this. See, we got so many tributaries. Ganga is mentioned in dark blue color. After that, if you concentrate on Yamuna, Yamuna starts from this particular point and uh, it joins Ganga at a place called as Allahabad. At present, this Allahabad place is also known to be uh, known by the name called as Prayagraj. I hope you understand this. See, once again, I want you to understand this. We have got Yamuna from here to Allahabad. If you concentrate on this particular diagram, there is no other river which is this big. I hope you understand. When I concentrate on the lengths of the rivers, uh, tributaries of Ganga, Yamuna is the longest tributary that we have. If you concentrate on Yamuna, that is the longest tributary that we have. So can I say, if I want to make a point here, I can make a point saying, longest tributary of Ganga, longest tributary, then it would be my Yamuna. Okay. If you concentrate on Yamuna, Yamuna, this particular river is originating from a glacier called as Yamunotri Glacier. And these Yamunotri glaciers are a part of Masuri. Being particular, they are originating from Bandar Punch Hills of Masuri Ranges. I hope you understand. Masuri Range is also synonym of Himachal, Middle Himalayas in Uttarakhand. Among them, there is a hill range called as Bandar Punch. There we get something called as Yamunotri Glacier. From there, this particular Yamuna River flows continuously. Uttarakhand, then uh, it connects with Delhi, then it goes towards UP and it joins Ganga at this particular place called as Prayagraj. I hope you understand this particular. See, if you concentrate on the tributaries of Yamuna particularly, can I say the important tributaries that we have, that are uh, they are already mentioned here, please pay attention. If the river is moving like this, whatever tributaries they are coming from this particular side and from this particular side, these tributaries, these tributaries, we are calling them as right side tributaries and whatever tributaries we have here, they are called as left side tributaries or left bank tributaries and they, these are right bank tributaries. If I change this particular matter, pay attention, if I change, if I change the direction of the flow of the river like this, in that sense, whatever the tributaries which are coming from here and which are coming from here, these will become what? Right bank tributaries and these will become what? Left bank tributaries. I hope you understand this particular one. In that sense, if you concentrate on Yamuna, Yamuna is here, Yamuna, this particular river, if you concentrate on that, Yamuna river has got left bank tributaries majorly and they are, one, we have got Chambal river, after that, Sindh river, after that, Betwa river, after that, Kain river. I hope you understand, these are the four important left, right bank tributaries of Yamuna. Okay. In that sense, there are some uh, less important left bank tributaries also and they are, uh, they are Hindan, Rind, uh, Sengar and Varuna. See, there is a tributary called as Rind. I told you, mentioned about four important left bank tributaries for Yamuna and they are Hindan, Rind, Sengar and Varuna. I hope you understand this particular point. These many points we need to remember under an important tributary of Ganga called as Yamuna. Yamuna river originates from Yamunotri and if you talk about left bank and right bank tributaries, they are 4 and 4. Right bank are Chambal, Betwa, uh, Sindh, Kin and the left bank are, the left bank tributaries are Hindan, Rind, Sengar and Varuna. I hope you understood these many points under Yamuna. The last point I wanted to mention is Yamuna joins Ganga at a place called as Allahabad in UP, in UP. That you need to remember. After that, if you concentrate on Chambal, see, I would consider Chambal is also an important river in this particular river basin. Chambal, this river, this river, uh, wait for a second. Okay, this river, uh, Chambal River, Chambal River. Can, can you concentrate on this? Chambal, if I concentrate, see, I want to remove this. Chambal river is this. Chambal, chambal river is this, like this. 
and uh, there is a plateau in Madhya Pradesh. This particular plateau is called as Malwa Plateau. Malwa Plateau. And if you concentrate on Malwa, Malwa Plateau, it is at its northern slope of Malwa Plateau that we see origin of Chambal River. There is a place called as Moh, M H O W, in Madhya Pradesh. Moh is a district from where this particular Chambal River originates. I hope you understand this simple point. This Chambal River in the beginning moves towards north, then towards northwest, and then turns itself towards northeast just because there is a Aravali range here. Because of Aravali range, it turns itself towards northeast and it joins and it joins Yamuna very near to Agra. This we need to understand. After that, if I concentrate on the most important tributary that we have for Jambal. And then that that tributary becomes something called as Banas. I hope you understand this. See, there is a tributary here called as Banas. Banas is the most important tributary for Chambal River. Up to this, you need to understand. Okay, after that, after that, if we concentrate on a, a important river called as Son, concentrate on this. There is a river called as Son like this. Okay, Son River. Son River is also important right bank tributary of Ganga. It can also be called as right bank or it can also be called as south bank tributary of Ganga. Okay, now pay attention. If you concentrate on Son River, this particular Son River is originating from Amar Kantak Plateau and it is flowing towards northeast continuously and it joins Ganga at Patna in Bihar. I hope you understand this simple point. See, it is originating from Amarkantak Plateau and then moving towards northeast and then joins Ganga very near to Patna in Bihar. You need to understand this particular point. And the most important, two important tributaries are mentioned here. They are Rihind and Koel. Rihind and Koel. Both of them are right bank tributaries for Son River because the direction of the Son River is like this and they are right bank tributaries for Son River. Son River is a right bank tributary for Ganga and Rihand and Koel. These two are right bank tributaries for Son. I hope you understand that particular point. After that, if you concentrate on this, I want to remove all this off. See, pay attention. We have got a, a clear map of it. Uh, after this, I want you to concentrate on a river called as Ram Ganga. Okay, now pay attention. Ram Ganga is this. I'm I'm concentrating on Ram, Ram Ganga, and uh, if you concentrate on this, Ram Ganga is originating in Uttarakhand, near hills called as Garhwal. Okay, I hope you understand. There is a hills called as Garhwal Hills, and this particular hill belongs to. Uh, mountain range called as Masuri Ranges, Garhwal. There is a hill ranges uh, are, also, are also called as Bandarpanch, where Yamutra, Yamunotri glacier was present. Now I am talking about Garhwal Hills, which are at southern part of Uttarakhand. There, from there, a river originates and that particular river, we are calling it as Ram Ganga. Ram Ganga. If you concentrate on this particular map, Ram Ganga comes and joins Ganga at a place called as Kannoj. Okay, if you concentrate on uh, medieval history or ancient history, at the end of in ancient history or at the beginning of medieval history, there happens a struggle called as tripartite struggle in between Rastrakutas, Gurjara Pratiharas and uh, Palas. Okay, and all those three uh, dynasties are fighting for a fighting for a important land called as Kannoj. Just because this particular land is very much fertile because of uh, the river Ganga that we have as well as the Ram Ganga that we have. We get alluvial fertile soil here as a result, they were fighting for it. I hope you understand. See, Kannauj is that significant and Ram Ganga as a river comes and joins Ganga at a place called as Kannauj. Okay, after this, uh, if you concentrate on Gomati river, okay, we need to know uh, we need to know just the origin point of Gomti river. If you concentrate on Gomti, Gomti is a left bank tributary. I hope you understand that. Gomti river originates from, can you concentrate on this? 
this particular point is present in is present in up itself and this particular point is very near to philibeth philibeth if they ask you the origin or source point of gomti river then you have to tell that the gomti river originates north of philibeth in up is what your answer must be okay now pay attention after that we have got a river called as ghagra river now if you concentrate on ghagra river ghagra after gomti we have got ghagra see uh, if you concentrate on uh, gomti gomti is going and uh, joining ganga very near to varanasi it is mentioned here pay attention okay after that concentrate on ganga ghagra there is a river called as ghagra like this okay now pay attention ghagra like this okay now this particular ghagra joins joins uh ganga very near to patna that we need to understand ghagra is what bank tributary is it left or right bank this ghagra is the left bank tributary just because the ganga is flowing like this if ganga is flowing like this can i say this becomes our left bank tributary and the downwards becomes our right bank tributary if sohn river is right bank tributary then this must be certainly be left bank tributary okay now pay attention this particular ghagra is being joined by two important rivers and they are pay attention they are one kali and the other one is called as rapti i hope you understand this particular one okay one is kali and the other one is rapti if you concentrate on kali river the kali river is uh, what do you call it is named by several names it has got so many synonyms like kali kali is also called as mahakali it is also called as saryu it is also called as sarda it is also called as chok these many names are there for kali river that we need to remember about and these kind of names i would give in my notes also okay now pay attention see what is this here we have got a kali river the kali river is originating from a place called as kalapani in in uttarakhand it is also said to uh, it is also uh, believed that this particular river originates from a glacier called as milan glacier in tibet i hope you understand this particular point but ncert believes that this particular river originates from kalapani of uttarakhand i hope you understand that particular point kali river soon after it enters up this particular name changes into sarda kali is said to be sarda in up sarda river goes and joins a river called as ghagra see there is a river called as ghagra concentrate on ghagra this particular ghagra river originates from a glacier called as mapcha chunga mapcha chunga i hope you understand this, this particular point see mapcha chunga glacier is present in nepal the glacier melts streams are created and the river is originating and that particular river is nothing but ghagra river and it is being joined by one of its left bank tributary called as rapti can i call the ghagra river is having a left right bank tributary called as kali kali is also called as chok mahakali saryu sarda you need to remember all these things if you concentrate on ghagra there are two important rivers one is kali the other one is called as rapti rapti is left bank tributary and the kali is right bank tributary after that if you concentrate on the next important uh, uh, river that we have that particular river is called as gandak gandak okay concentrate uh, gandak gandak originates from a point in nepal see if this is mount everest mount everest i am writing as well as if i concentrate on dhaulagiri concentrate there is a dhaulagiri here dhaulagiri we have got dhaulagiri point as well as mount everest in himadri ranges okay after that it is being joined by two important streams one is trishul gandak and the other one is kali gandak kali gandak and trishul gandak these two streams are created because of melting of glacier that is present in himalayas they join to create a river called as gandak and this particular river exactly originates in between dhaulagiri and mount everest in himadris i hope you understand this particular point after that the important river that we have is called as kosi river okay if you concentrate on kosi river pay attention kosi river i am concentrating on 
Koshi is also called as Saptakoshi River. Why are we calling it as Saptakoshi? The Koshi River is created by joining of seven important streams. I hope you understand this, this, uh, this particular point. The most important stream among them is Arun, Arun stream. And this particular stream is originating north of Mount Everest and it is continuously coming downwards by cutting the Himalayas into valleys as well as gorge. gorge. Okay, I hope you understand this particular point. See, there is a mountain like this. If the river is flowing at this particular, at the top, the mountain will be cut in this manner and it creates something called as valley. If you concentrate on this, see it is creating valley like this. Okay, if this particular, uh, if this particular uh, erosion or cutting leads to major cutting like this, then that particular structure we are calling it as gorge. I hope you understand this particular point. And uh, Kosi river makes gorge at a place called as Chapra in Nepal. We need to understand th that one. After that, if you concentrate on this particular map, we have got a last important left bank tributary called as Mahananda. And this particular Mahananda is a last, last left bank tributary joining Ganga. And this Mahananda originates from hills called as Darjeeling Hills. Darjeeling Hills. Darjeeling Hills are present in West Bengal as well as Sikkim. From there it originates and it joins Ganga near Bhagalpur, near Farka Barrage. After that, pay attention, we have constructed a hydroelectric project called as Farka Barrage here in West Bengal. Concentrate on this. This one is Farka Barrage. I hope you understand Farka Barrage. Soon after Farka Barrage ends, the Ganga is entering the proper plains. When it enters proper plains, it does not know where to flow as a result. This particular flow will get distributed into so many streams and those distributed streams we are calling it as distributaries. Okay. There are two important distributaries for Ganga. One is Padma River and the other one is Hugli River. I hope you understand this one. See, this particular Ganga when it enters Bangladesh, it is being called as Padma River and the other distributary of this is Hugli River. And if you concentrate on Hugli River, the most important tributaries for Hugli River are Mayur Kasi and Damodar. I hope you understand this particular point. Damodar, if you concentrate on Damodar, Damodar originates from Chota Nagpur Plateau that is present in Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. Okay. After that, Damodar is known to uh, flood notoriously in West Bengal as a result. Damodar is also called as Sorrow of Bengal. Okay. In the same sense, if you concentrate on Kosi River, Kosi is also notorious for its uh, changing of, frequently changing of its streams frequently flooding in Bihar. As a result, this particular Kosi river is also called as Sorrow of Kosi. I hope you got complete idea about uh, how to engage or how to analyze the Ganga river basin like this. I hope you understand this one. See the important dams I told you about is one is at this one, Tehri Dam and there is a Rihand Dam here and there is one more dam here on Chambal called as Gandhi Sagar Dam in Madhya Pradesh. That we need to understand. Okay, this is about it. After that, at the end, the mouth of the river, if we talk about, then the mouth of the river would look like this. This is the delta, and the delta is called as Sundarban uh, Sundarbans Delta. And uh, Sundarbans Delta is very famous for mangroves and its wildlife. As a result, it is uh, getting a recognition of National Park, and we know Sundarbans also as a Sundarban National Park. Okay. This is about it, about Ganga River. Okay. Thank you. We'll uh, meet tomorrow with the next river system. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.